Hi viewers, welcome to your favorite youth related sports show, Spotify. And my name is Rivaldo Cavanga, and I'll be your host for today's show. Today's show is filled with a jam packed sequence of sports series that occurred during the past week and weekend. But before we dive into the show, today is Simplicity Day, so stay tuned for that ad. Yes, thank you so much for staying tuned. But up next into our, into our international rugby news. The Belvichers this weekend faced, or last week faced Madagascar, and we won an astonishing 52-10 against Madagascar. Head coach Elisa Cruzier praised his players for coming back from the set play that we experienced against Ivory Coast when we lost 24-13 to Ivory Coast. And I mean, super, super amazing from the, from the rugby lad. I mean, we have to keep it on as we know we are currently going gunning for World Cup qualifiers. But as if from Rugby News, we now dive into the next segment of the show. Thank you so much for staying tuned. But up next, we'll be having a, one of our colleagues will be having an interview with Cobus da Souza as he shares his personal experience with the gyms that are currently closed. We do know that gyms are closed due to current, uh, due to current pending COVID-19 regulations. And we do want to know how it in turn affects gymnasts and we not only know that, not only gymnasts use our, our germs, but I mean soccer players, rugby players, and all, uh, play, and all athletes that, that participate in different sports schools do make use of the gym. So we'll now speak to Copas da Souza as he tells us how the closure of gyms has affected his, ex his personal experience. Hi everybody, we are back with Kuobus de Sousa. Now he is part of a Virgin Active Kleinakuba gym and we will just be talking about how he feels about the fact that the gyms has closed and everything. Um, cool, Kuobus, welcome to the show. Uh, thanks for having me. Always a pleasure. So we're just going to uh, start right off. How do you feel about the fact that the gyms has closed? Um, okay, so obviously I'm a bit disappointed, um, especially with everything that's happening now in the world. Um, the gym was basically the only time of the day where we were actually allowed to go out of the house a bit. Um, but then again, safety is our number one priority. So it's better to stay at home now um, than going to the gym and risking getting COVID. Um, so yeah, obviously I'm disappointed. But for the safety, I think it's it's a better option right yeah. now. Okay, and when you were at the gym, did you feel that um, the safety will become an issue or that you were close to the people to be exposed to get um, COVID? Um, not really. Uh, Virgin Active was actually very, very clean. Mm. Uh, the, like the premises was sanitized like constantly. Um, and before you use the equipment and everything, you can also sanitize it by yourself. Um, so I actually felt very safe yeah. there. Um, but then again, um, it's a bunch of people together. So, you know, the chances of spreading the virus and stuff may get worse. So, um, but overall, I actually felt relatively safe there. Okay, cool. And so currently you're at home now. So what do you do to stay fit when you're not in the gym? Um, <laughs> yeah, see, it's, it's a bit of a struggle, um, but I actually play hockey for Bentuka High School. Um, so our fitness instructor gave us a fitness program to stay fit during the uh, lockdown. Okay. So basically it's just a 
different types of jogging and everything. So that's about the only thing I do now, go jogging about two days of every two days. Uh, so about three days a week, um, just to keep fit, keep the cardiovascular fitness at a higher level. Okay, so there's no more muscle building and lifting heavy weights. <laughs> I know that uh, that is out for now. Um, unfortunately, we don't have a home gym or anything of that kind. So uh, that is out for now. But um, yeah, it's good to have a few race days at mm -hmm. least for a while. <laughs> Two weeks is, is getting a bit long. So um, yeah, I was struggling to just sit at home the whole day um but yeah that's about it the only thing i'm doing now is just fitness not weightlifting weight. yeah you had this kind of a cool transformation of building more muscle mass when you start or when you were at the gym can you just walk us through what you did to you know gain that muscle mass what it really takes to build muscle because i mean there's a lot that goes into it can you walk us through that process yeah, so obviously it starts out with um, having your goal in mind. And my goal was just to put on more muscle, just get heavier, get bigger. Um, so I started off with getting a good program to work on because um, that's really important. And then your consistency and your hard work and your perseverance plays a big, big role. Because um, if you're not going to be consistent in the German, like going there, I went about four to five days a week and like if you don't have the consistency um, the progress is going to take much longer time to reach your goal and then there's a lot of external factors like um, what you do in the kitchen like what you eat that's also a really big um, role in building muscle and gaining weight so um, yeah we had to eat or I had to eat a lot um, to gain muscle as I had a very fast metabolism. So mm -hmm. everything got broken down really um, fast. So I had to eat a lot to um, just gain weight. But um, after you start seeing progress, like you're so motivated to keep on going back to the gym and stuff. And it, like, there's always the people that will doubt you that will like say, oh no, you're not going to make it and stuff like that. But if you use the hate as yeah, I, if I can say that, um, yeah. you can use that as the motivation to Making keep on going back. And yeah, that really played a big role. Um, but then, like I also, like I said, I play hockey, so we had training as well. Um, so obviously there were a few days that was just really tough with going to the gym. Or first you go to school, then to the gym, then to hockey practice and stuff. And things just got a bit too much you know mm -hmm. um, but the yeah like I said consistency hard work and perseverance is the three things that I will say is the big pillars to building muscle yeah okay cool um, yes yeah, seeing that we are in the COVID-19 pandemic currently is there any health tip that you have for the public or maybe just to keep it during these times keep the spirits high and to eat healthy as well yeah, the most important thing I will say is, you know, just to keep on eating healthy. Um, like I'm not saying go on a diet, you know, just, but just try to consume less sugar and stuff like that. Keep healthy, keep active. Um, and especially with what's happening now in our country, you know, just try to stay away from uh, people that you don't necessarily have to see. Um, I just, yeah, keep safe, you know, <laughs> social distance, keep your mask on. I think that's the most important things. Okay, cool. Thank you so much, Kobus. Um, and I, I, I wish you all the best for your fitness journey at home. I know it can be difficult to always be motivated when you don't have the gym equipment. But thank you so much and all the best. Thank you so much for having me. Have a nice okay. day as well. You too. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Welcome back from that amazing, amazing interview. And I mean, you, we do see the effect that the closure of gyms has on our gymnasts. But we now dive into football news. The Brave Warriors this weekend defeated the Warriors 
2-0 during the Kosafa meeting this Sunday. And I mean, it was obvious when we saw brave warriors versus warriors. I mean, you cannot be a warrior if you're not brave. So big up to the lads for making that win. And we, and we are coming closer to actually bringing the Kosafa back home. And as they said, it's coming home. But up next, stay tuned for the next segment of the show. But again, we had a lovely, lovely, lovely episode of Spotify. And I mean, it's youth related sports news where we focus all on sports news. But then, if you do have any sports related youth news, do not hesitate to contact me at rivaldo at myzone.com.na. But thank you so much for staying tuned. This was a lovely episode of Spotify. Thank you. <laughs>